Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. Today we're gonna to spend some time talking about the EM test ditto. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start by talking briefly about the test system. Then we're gonna move on to some of the components and testing capabilities. And then finally, we'll show how to change and select different testing criteria using the display. Let's go ahead and start by taking a look at what's included with the EM test ESD simulator. Here you're gonna find the case which the EM test ditto comes in. And now we're gonna go ahead and let's walk through some of the accessories that come with the simulator. Let's go ahead and let's start from the left side and let's work our way right. In the far left corner, you'll see our charging cable. Just to the right of that, you'll see our grounding cable and that is indicated with a yellow and green color. And then next to that, you'll see our charger and then the associated cable that connects to the battery. And then just to the right of that, you will see the battery itself and that just slides into the frame of the EM test ditto. Now just above that grounding cable, you'll see our EM test ditto and that does have the RC module already located on the front of the simulator. And then just above that to the right, you will see both our air and contact discharge tips. And then uh, if you did order any calibration documentation or if you do need access to the user manual and data sheet, you should find a USB drive as well as the associated documentation kind of tucked away on the right side there. All right, so that should just about wrap up what comes with our EM test simulator. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the simulator itself. Let's go ahead and let's start from the front of the simulator and work our way back, just talking briefly about some of the different components and features of the test system. The first thing you will notice is the rounded discharge tip on the very front of the ESD simulator and the different discharge tips just slide in and out of the discharge module. The discharge module on the EM test ditto can be ordered to meet a variety of different resistance capacitance combinations. However, it's most commonly ordered in accordance with IEC 61000-4-2 with a 150 picofarad 330 ohm combination. Just to the right of that discharge module, you will see our display on the EM test ditto and on the side of the display, you'll see an optical interface connection, which will be used if you are using any of the EM test control software. One of the interesting things about the EM test ditto is the trigger provides both an off and on, as well as a back when you are working your way through the display and the different menus. Finally, all the way in the back of the unit is the battery which can be slid out of the unit when it needs to be charged. Now let's go ahead and let's power up the ESD simulator and take a look at the display. Here you'll find the display for the EM test ditto. You will notice two different series of buttons on the front side of the equipment. You will notice a series of function keys from F1 to F5. And then just below that, a negative and a positive button, which you can use as well to modify different testing criteria. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the different options for testing using our EM test ditto. Here you're gonna find the main menu, which provides four different options for testing. The first of which is EasyZap. The EasyZap has a fixed test level and is designed for a fast check. The next is gonna be F2, which is QuickZap, and this allows for the voltage to be adjusted to meet set levels, and it is more flexible than the EasyZap. The next one is gonna be F3, and that's gonna be evaluation. And evaluation is when the discharges are released at a higher repetition rate, and this is typically used for determining different test points. And then finally, we have F4, which is the test routines, which are more structured tests, which are aligned with different testing standards. Let's go ahead and let's start with quick zap, given we'll have access to all the different functionality. All right, so this is the quick zap menu, and you will see in the upper left hand corner, it does indicate quick zap. Working our way right, you will see our battery life indicator and it is fully charged right now. Now let's go ahead and look at the bottom third of the screen. There we have start, mode, trigger, rep, and count. And each one of those are associated with the function key directly below it. 
Start is fairly straightforward and that's where the voltage can be selected. Right now we have 2000 volts. The next is mode and this is where air or contact discharge is selected. Looking at the display right now, we can see we have AD for air discharge selected. Working our way right, we have trigger and there's three different options there. We have single, continuous, and then automatic. Finally, the last two options on our right are rep and count. All right, that should just about complete our video today on the EM test ditto. We hope this video has been useful as we walk through a little bit about the test system, including some of the different features as well as components, and then how to modify some different testing criteria using the display. Please keep us in mind if you ever need to rent or purchase the EM test ditto. Thank you.